welcome to day three of the decluttering challenge. I am Jessica with Fantabulosity, and hopefully by now you have watched day one and day two. Day one was just kind of an overview of what we're going to be doing the rest of the week and kind of getting your mindset uh, shift around how to declutter and how it doesn't have to be so overwhelming. Day two was trash it. It was my favorite day because you can just literally walk around the house with a trash bag and start throwing things away to clear the canvas for what we're doing these next few days. So today is gift it day. And what I mean by that is go around your house, find things that you no longer want or need anymore. And if they're in good condition, give it to somebody. Does your sister like it? Could she use it? Your neighbor, your mom, your friend, whoever it may be, ask them if they want it. Now I say this, keep this in mind. The next few days we're going to be doing some things and tomorrow is actually donated day. So just kind of keep that in mind and then the following day I'm going to go ahead and tell you because it may make a difference in how you handle today. The following and last day of our challenge is sell it. So if you're looking at something in your house and you're like, you know what, I don't need that anymore. Could um, Susie use it? Probably, but could I make some money off of it if I sell it? then maybe keep that in mind. Maybe don't give everything away just because you don't want it anymore because on the last day when we get into selling things, I have some great tips for you how to make some extra money with some stuff around the house. Now, gifted day can also mean re-gifting. Say you got some stuff for Christmas or your birthday that's really nice of them to get it for you, but it's just not your taste or your style or frankly, you just don't have the room for it. You can re-gift. I know re-gifting kind of has this you know, feeling around it that feels icky, but I'm telling you, I don't know if I'm getting a re-gifted thing. If it fits what I'm looking for and I love it, I don't give a crap where it came from. Like, I'm excited to get it. <laughs> so don't let re-gifting be so uh, icky feeling. For instance, the house that we are living in was fully furnished whenever we moved in and is decorated some, and it's not my taste and style. So I'm gonna show you a few items, but I'm not actually giving these away, but, <laughs> This is a great example. So say that, and of course I had to get the biggest thing, apparently, but say that you have some house decor that you used to decorate with, say like this, you know, that you used to love it, but you don't really anymore. It doesn't really fit your style. Well, get rid of it. Can you gift it to someone who currently decorates with this? Can you re-gift it? Does somebody have a birthday coming up? Or is there a holiday coming up that, I mean, this is... I mean, it's cute, right? For somebody that likes this taste or has this taste and this style and it's in good condition, somebody would love that. So you could re-gift it or give it to someone. Or if you're just ready to get rid of it and say, you know what, my mom decorates like that or my sister decorates like that, I'm just gonna take a picture of it, text it to her and say, hey, do you want this? And just put it by your door or whoever, or wherever you wanna put it and plan on getting rid of it, okay? Gifting is always a nice thing and it saves money when you have to buy somebody a gift anyway and the thing you're wanting to get rid of fits their personality, their style, etc. Candles, I mean, we always get candles and you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm guilty of this too. Wait, it actually kind of smells good. When you have to get a gift for someone and you don't know what to give them, I mean, the, the default is candles. People usually love giving and getting candles. Me, I don't like having a bunch of stuff around so I, don't really need candles sitting around. I feel like they collect dust, like this one probably has dust on it. Yeah, it does. And again, it's part of this house that's not mine. I just picked it up for an example. But if you have these sitting around because somebody got them for you or because you bought them at one time because they were on sale and you thought they'd look cute on the end table, do you really need them? Are you tired of dusting them? Gift them, put them in a gift closet. And that's another thing, you know, I was talking about the re-gifting or whatever. I usually have a section going on in my home where I call it like the gifting section or the re-gifting closet or whatever it is. And even if I don't have a plan or a person that I could give these to yet, I will. Because I guarantee there will always be a, an event or something come up in your life and you're like, oh my gosh, I should have got them something. I should have um, brought something along with us or maybe I should. We got to run by the store really quick. No, you just go to your closet where you store these things. You know, say, you know what? I don't want this anymore, but they're cute. They're in good condition. Somebody's getting these for a gift. Okay, so that's just a quick little example. So I encourage you to go around your house today. Look on the walls, don't just look on the floor. Look on the walls, look in baskets, look in closets and go, do I really need this? And remember from day one when I said, go with the mindset of, if I had to move out of this house in a week, would I want to pack this stuff up and move it? 
because I'm telling you, when you think about it in that way, it changes how you feel about stuff. And you never know, that could happen. Something may happen to where you do have to move, or even if it does come time to move one day and you have longer than a week, it's still gonna be nice to not have to think about stuff. The less stuff you have, the less cleaning you have to do, the less pickup that you have to do. So <laughs> go through your kids' closets, go through their toys, go through your stuff in your office, your bedroom, your closet, your living room. Today is gifted day. Who can you give stuff to? If you don't have someone to give it to, put it in a section in your home that you can go to when you need something to gift someone. All right? All right, I'll see you on day four tomorrow. Bye-bye.